Hello, this is Michaela of Studios Octopus, and I'm here today recording the December 2017 UK Glossy Box Unboxing. This should be a limited edition Christmas version. It's the last Glossy Box of 2017. It's the end of the year. Let's see what we've got. It's just arrived today. And there it is there. All right, it says Mince Pies Starry Skies. Whenever I've seen it pictured online, I've never been able to tell what it says, but it is a lot clearer in person. So there it is there. We have this actually quite nice sort of um, brush stroke pattern, which I actually quite like and the nice shiny glossy box and it's coming up here that it is a collaboration with Dusty Boy. But let's open it up. We have the greeny theme continued inside. We have the card here which we will get into and we have some dark paper and a goldish ribbon and the green and dark sticker. There we go there. Lots of little items inside there and I think some chocolates as well. That actually looks okay. I recognize a couple of brands. They look okay. So let's see what we've got and go through it one item at a time. But first, let's look at the Glossy Box newsletter. I'm already noticing a difference. We'll wait and see. Dear Glossies, this month is dedicated to mince pies, starry skies, and of course, a beautifully beribboned Glossy Box surprise, as our collector's edition box designed by Irish lifestyle brand Dusty Boy so eloquently puts it. Inside, you'll find the beauty staples that will see you through the gloriously glossy party season, including a long-lasting lip colour and a cleanser that leaves skin feeling so refreshed it's like the festivities never happened. Should you tire of mince pies, we've also included some bite-sized Raffaello treats. Wishing you a glossy December. See you next year, your glossy box team. So yes, this is already another change that we've had in the card. Changing the website, changing the um, loyalty scheme as they are no longer from Evie Leatham, editorial director at Glossy Box. Hopefully she hasn't just been fired with the glossy box buyout that happened this year. But okay, So let's go through each item at a time. The first one on top here is a nail bay item, which is super nice. Nail Bay is a brand we've had before. I've had a toner from them, which is all right, but I felt like it sort of started to smell funny really quickly, and a cleansing lotion, which I really liked. I used all of that up. So this is the Nail Bay Equilibria Gel to Milk Cleanser. That wash away the day in the most opulent way. This golden gel transforms into a softening cleansing milk on contact with water. With organic olive and sweet almond oils, skin is left hydrated and not tight. Massage the gel over your face and neck, ensuring you pay extra attention to the oilier T-zone where we tend to apply more makeup. Add warm water, massage some more until the gel has turned into a milky texture, and splash it off along with any remains of the day. It does say this is full size, so I am a little confused. Typically for nail bay packaging, they come with like sort of a wooden feature piece um, end cap, so either this is a version that has been produced specifically without that so it's slightly cheaper but we'll still get the full size product inside which I usually don't mind. All this is possibly their new design. I will look it up and tell you that in the end. But the card says full size. This is 75 milliliters. RRP of $15.99 which is pretty typical for Nail Bay. Not super super expensive. Not really very cheap though. It is a Spanish brand. Not tested on animals. Full of lots of nice ingredients and I usually quite like them very fuss free but the product inside is usually really really nice and it's nice to get another skincare item i feel like we haven't had a lot of skincare items recently from glossy box so there we go next up this is saying apparently every other item in the box is full size i think the next item is this one here which we had another sneak peek of online too and this is the Laqua and Co Cloud Lips. Encased in this rose gold delight is one of the best matte lipsticks we've tried recently. The high impact pigment feels as light as a cloud but stays put until the end of the party. This is RRP of £12.70. If this is full size we get 2.6 grams and yes it's in this very pretty lovely gold sort of container and the end says daydream so I'm assuming that's the uh, flavour I got. 
We'll just push it up there. I'll push it up all the way actually because I'm always curious to see how much you get. So that is the project there. There's possibly a little bit more inside but I think this is a not super expensive but not super cheap brand that is sort of more for looking nice and it is kind of a dusty nudish mattish pink. Sort of that very pretty, very wearable by lots and lots of people shades. This is very party friendly, very everyday friendly. I think it looks quite nice. I had a quick look on the Lacqua and Co website when they gave the sneak peek. The brand looks all right. It's a relatively small brand. They don't have lots and lots of items. They mostly seem to focus on some lip items and it is very pretty. So there we go. We've got a full size lipstick. Next up is this item here. Oh, cool. And this is a Cryolan product. This is their eyeshadow primer. This lid smoothing primer grabs eyeshadow so it lasts all day without creasing. Apply a small dot onto lids and gently blend it using your ring finger and a very, very light touch. This is full size. We've got a weight of 15 milliliters. It is about primer size. So Cryolan is a brand that we have had before in Glossy Box, but a long, long, long time ago, I think. And it is a very nice brand that isn't really sort of regular makeup. A lot of the time Cryolan is for TV, movies, stage, that sort of stuff. They're very good, very high quality and it's quite nice to see actually a Cryolan product again in an eyeshadow primer which is nice. We haven't had an eyeshadow primer in a good long 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 while. We have had one from I think it was like a, an American one a while ago. I assume this will be very good because the cryolan stuff is usually very very good and it'll be nice to use with all of those eyeshadow looks people are going to be wearing in the party season. So there's the tube there. It's a nice full-size tube, 15 milliliters. And I think this is just sort of standard, like an eye cream or a eyelash glue style container, which is very frost-free. Doesn't come with anything else you don't need. Just the product in a nice tube, which I quite like. Does it have any other directions on here? It's printed in lots and lots of different languages. This is made in Germany. It says it has a shelf life of 12 months. I think that will be very nice and it's nice to see another very nice brand in Glossy Box. Full size RRP is uh, £18.30 I think I said. But next up is the Steve Laurent. That's this item here and this is the item that was on our sneak peek card last time. So this is a Steve Laurent precision tip eyeliner. This is also apparently full size with an RRP of £18. We'll never get tired of a feline flick but leave suit to Father Christmas. It's easy to create precise, intense black lines with this super fine liquid liner. The felt tip applicator has a thin nib that makes for easy application and the long lasting formula is smudge proof and waterproof. And again we've got some very pretty sparkly gold rose gold packaging. Does it have anything important that we need to know on the packaging? It's got a net weight of 1.8 grams. It's in the shade black. This is it in sight as well. We have a slightly darker but still nice sort of rosy goldy finish there. Quite a thin eyeliner tube. I have had mixed feelings about sort of felt tip style eyeliners. I have tried some before and not really liked them. I usually use the gel posh with a brush or just a, a regular sort of coal eyeliner uh, but we'll see. So this is safety sealed as well as being inside a box so, which is always nice. Then you know the item you're getting is uh, has been nice and sealed since it's been manufactured. There it is unpacked. Do I just pull? Oh yes there we go I just pull. I wasn't sure if it was a twist. So there is the eyeliner there, which yes is a quite thin, fine nib. Actually, that looks quite nice. So there I've done a line. Uh, the thing I quite like about the feeling of this initially is the very, very tip part is quite soft and then the inner core of it is kind of more firm so you can sort of press down and get a, a nice firm sweep and it feels like you could use this quite precisely. I'll give it a go my sort of reservations about felt tip style liners. I've tried them before and not really liked them but it looks interesting enough that I will try it. It has nice packaging, looks quite professional. There we go. That was the Precision Eyeliner from Steve Laurent, £18. And then the last actual makeup item in here, or glossy box, like proper glossy box item, is this here. And this is the Lipsil, Lipsil 
Or Mirror Compact. We've decided that this would be the perfect stocking filler if we weren't so desperate to keep it ourselves. Available in fall scent, this nourishing SPF 15 lip balm is packed with moisturising shea butter, velvety cocoa butter and aloe vera to help repair chap lips and protect them as the cold weather sets in. This is also full size. It is... no way that I can see here quickly on the outside but there will probably be one on the inside. 4.99 RRP. It is a little strange that we have another lip product so soon after having, well, a lip balm in the very last box, but then to a certain extent this will probably make me feel slightly less guilty about not using the Sport FX one anymore because I did think it had a not very nice aftertaste that I didn't like it over time. Like over time. So you just pull the cardboard sort of holding it in place open if you want to save your packaging. And there we go, it's a nice compact with the lipsy printed on there and it's blue underneath. We have a weight on here of 9 grams, it's SPF 15 aloe vera vitamin A shea butter. Pop it open so you have a very plain, nice actually quite big pan of lip balm there and then yes there's a little mirror which will be a quite nice little party item to take with you places to be able to check how you look. It's actually a nice size for a sort of a compact so yeah, only gripe is that obviously we've just had a lip balm, but then I was less keen in the end in last month's lip balm, so I will probably swap to using this one instead. Oh, and then yes, we have a little mini pack of three Raffaellos in the box, which are always nice to have. These are probably, what, 50, 60p from the shops. It's more of a nice bonus, a nice Christmas treat item, rather than something that I would actually, you know, count for the cost of the box. So there we go there, that's the box as I got it, with the very nice pretty um, golden packing worms. So we had skincare, eyeliner, eyeshadow primer, um, lip, and another lip. Again we're getting two products that it's like we could have gotten a, a different product and maybe it would be a better box. So we've got a sort of a party lip and then an everyday lip. But actually, initial impressions, this is a much better box than last month's box. This is a good Christmas box. But I'm going to go away, I'm going to double check everything as the price it says it is, I'm going to do a box total, and then we'll see after that. Okay, and we're back. So, from the top, the Neo Neobay Equilibria Gel to Milk cleanser. Yes, originally this is supposed to come with a wooden style sort of ethically sourced lid. This doesn't, but it is still the, the sort of the full size in milliliters, which like I said, I'm not bothered about. I would rather get more product rather than pretty packaging. So they list this as full size being worth $15.99. Their own website lists this as being sold for €13.95, which actually translates to closer to £12.20, which is the value I'm going to list this as. It also looks like it's an item that you can't particularly buy right now. Either they're phasing it out or it just to seems to just kind of be totally out of stock everywhere. But anyway, a £12 cleanser from Nail Bay with lots of good ingredients in it. I think that looks quite good. Next up is the Laqua & Co Cloud Lip which is a American brand. Their original price is listed in dollars. It's $17 for this lipstick, which does about translate to that £12.70, so I'll give them that. And again, yes, this is definitely full size, and this is actually the version you would get if you bought it from them. There are four colours available. And then next up is the Cryolan product, which, yes, is £18.30. There is an American website that lists a dollar version, but Cryolan also have a UK website and obviously in the UK chances are you'd be buying it from the UK. So £18.30, pretty pricey for a primer but I know Cryoline is actually a pretty good brand and this will probably also last for ages because it's a nice generous size but they've focused more on the product, less on the packaging. I think it'll be really good. And then we have the Steve Laurent eyeliner. I can't actually find out that much about this brand. They seem to mostly have a few eye items and a few lip items. So they seem like a very small, fairly new brand. But again, it is an American 
that brand. So this is originally listed as $24, which with Google translates to £17.90. The glossy box is £18, is probably just, you know, one of those. The um, exchange rate changes over time, £18, £17.90, it's all the same thing. Uh, so yeah, and this is also full size. And then the final item was the lip seal one, and it isn't actually unflavoured, I didn't notice that. Mine says it is the zingy, zingy mandarin flavour, but actually it uh, it has like, it doesn't smell that strong, which is, is quite nice, because I wasn't really looking for another super, super flavorful lip item and it comes in lots of other flavors and is worth $4.99 and is an English brand anyway so that's that and then yes the total box value we got five items they are all full size barring you know slightly not full-size packaging but full-size product which i always think is way more important and the total box value is 66 pound and 12 pence for me which is a much better much healthier value from the 22 pound but also i just think a much better put together box we've got some makeup items some sort of general cold weather items this i think will probably be kind of the best item of the box for makeup and then a some skincare items which I really like getting from a brand that I know I like. So I think actually this was a very good box for December. There we go, that is December's glossy box. Super good end to the year after a disappointing uh, November. And then we do have a sneak peek just to look at here. And this is January's sneak peek. Start the air off as you mean to go on with January's glossy box, which contains Dr. Botani Botanical's Moroccan Rose Superfood Facial Oil to treat and hydrate skin. An oil so good you won't need a resolution to keep you to make you keep on using it and there it is there actually coincidentally i was quite tempted to get the um the ordinary's uh, sort of organic rosehip oil face oil with my glossy dots but that might seem a bit pointless if we're getting a rose facial oil in the next month anyway i have used uh, rose facial oils specifically before i quite like the boots botanics one before they changed the recipe a bit rose and rose hips are a very good sort of anti-aging ingredient and facial oils as well i also actually really like i'm still using facial oil now so i think that'll be a really nice product to have for january and to start the new year so that was the unboxing much better unboxing much happier with service now uh, and i will see you again next time which, which will either be for an empties video if i manage to record one before the end of the year or the beginning of next year i will probably do the glossy box catch-up and I will see you again next time. Hello, this is Michaela, or Studious Octopus, and I'm here today doing the Glossy Box Catch-Up for the November 2017 UK Glossy Box. This was... This is a game about what happens when you find yourselves... Near, near death. death. Uh, so we'll just...